Hey, I'm Brett Lonsdale, and uh, this week I'm with Carl Greenhouse. How are you, Carl? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Thanks, Brett. How about yourself? Yeah, good. So I just want to thank you for stepping in for, for Sandy while she's uh, cruising around the Caribbean at the moment. And uh, and that is actually apparently work. <laughs> so uh, she's... Um, <laughs> is it? <laughs> it is. Yeah, there is a... <laughs> Uh, actually, a Microsoft 365 conference taking place on a cruise ship uh, that left Miami just yesterday, and, and Sandy's presenting at that event. So, um, yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly. So, so Carl, uh, we're going to be talking about Social Square today and uh, introduce that as a discussion forum tool for, for SharePoint and Teams. But before we do, just um, can you just say a few words about you know who you are and uh, and so on in relation to, to Lightning Tools? Yeah, so if you've um, if you've come in contact with Lightning Tools before, you've probably come across myself. I work in the customer success team at Lightning Tools. Um, I've been here on and off for the past six years, and um, yeah, today I'm here to try and help everybody else with uh, social for, uh, with social tools such as Social Squared. Fantastic, great. Well, um, I think the first thing we're going to do, you know, is uh, Social Squared Month here at Lightning Tools. So uh, mm -hmm. every single month we have a product that we're going to be focusing on, and uh, this is the first video this month that we're going to be doing on Social Squared. So, um, yeah, anybody coming across this for the for the first time, let's just have a quick intro as to what Social Squared is, why we'd want to use it, and mm -hmm. uh, what benefit it's going to be bringing to uh, to, to your business. So. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's dive into that. And Carl, just feel free to ask questions as we go through. I will. Good, good. So, um, so yeah, Social Squared. First of all, uh, yeah, a lot of people um, will use different types of social tools inside of uh, the Microsoft 365 environment. Of course, there's uh, there's actually Microsoft Teams, um, and you've got the uh, the Posts tab in Teams. You've got also got that ability mm -hmm. to chat uh with each other you have of course got email and uh and carl you know you, you're a young guy so you you may not even use email anymore i don't know what's that what is that <laughs> so, so yeah there's, there's email you might send somebody a message it's this this old thing uh came after faxes and uh there's also um things like viva engage which is sort of like a rebranded um yammer as well mm -hmm. and um so there's lots of different options that you might want to use if you want to communicate with somebody inside an organization. But when you consider a lot of those tools, you know, the email for, for one, if I had a, a question and I wanted to ask somebody a question, I might be thinking to myself, well, who's the most appropriate person to ask? And um, yeah, that's really my sort of perception as to uh, yeah, who I should ask. Um, so I'll maybe ask an individual or I'll ask a group of people or, or something um, and hope that one of those people reply with the answer to me. Um, but the only people that actually benefit from that conversation is uh, is me as the person who created the email and uh, you, of course, replying and anybody else that was happened to be CC'd in on that, that message. Um, and it could be you know, a, a question and an answer that really benefits lots of people inside the organization. Um, so um, that's one of the, the downsides. And then there's also, if you like, uh, sort of threaded type um, discussions where it's a continual feed of, of questions or comments or announcements mm -hmm. and so on in the, in the same sort of way that uh, you, know, you might use uh, Yammer, Engage or um, uh, uh, the posts with inside of Teams. Um, and, you know, what, what sort of challenges do you, do you find with that, Carl? uh you know as, as somebody that uses the sort of feeds and and, and so on for, for communication yeah i find that you can almost get lost in all of the endless noise that happens every day and it's uh, it's really hard to go back and find that information that you may have been looking for previously especially as me who works in like tickets and that sort of stuff and we want to we want to talk about all these different questions that pop up so on post season teams it can be quite hard to find the relevant conversations that people have had or sometimes they're having closed conversations such as when developers are talking between technical support staff it'd be really useful for myself for example to be able to see those conversations so i can use that information that may have been shared before in another ticket um, mm. and i think social squared is kind of like the answer to that question and in, in some mm. cases i'd love to dive deep into it a little bit more if that'd be yeah yeah, well, let's go in and have a look. But yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. You know, you, you not not everybody knows really how to reply sometimes as well inside of Teams. Yeah. You know, uh, so so um, what you tend to find is somebody's asked a question, somebody's replying to, uh, to 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 that further on down, but that whole conversation has been interrupted by somebody posting a meme or something. No, <laughs> it's that's just, true. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, it, it, really, really frustrating. So um, yeah, let's have a look at Social Squared. So um, on my screen here, you'll see that we've got 
a discussion board uh, embedded on a SharePoint page. And um, you don't have to use this inside of SharePoint. You could also use it inside of Microsoft Teams if you wanted to as well. And I just want to be clear that this doesn't have to replace things like the, the posts tab or Viva Engage. It very much complements it. It's not going to replace email either. Uh, there's a time and a place for those products. Um, but if you're looking to get questions answered and record the question and the answer and have other people engage in actually responding to those uh, those questions as well. What you're going to be building over a period of time is a really powerful knowledge base that you know if you do join a company uh, six months down the line or something like that, and you've got a question, you can probably guarantee that somebody else has had that question in the past, and you're going to find the answer to it inside of Social Square, and that's the, uh, the the whole idea. So it's easy to search and uh, it's easy to navigate. And the way that you're navigating the content is based on uh, different forum groups and forums. So what you'll notice here inside the web part is uh, I've got a forum group that's labeled Microsoft 365 Innovations, and then I've also got Lightning Tools products. Now, this can be on any subject at all. Um, it, it, this is actually designed around a community of practice. Uh, but if you think about it, you've probably used a, a discussion forum most days of your life ever since you've been using the internet. Um, yeah, it might be that you've had a problem with your car. Uh, and let's yeah. just say that um, you're, you, you've you had a problem with I your have. car. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, and I've used a forum for it. <laughs> exactly. And you drive an yeah. electric car, right? I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. So it's a Vauxhall. It's a it's a Vauxhall uh, Mocha E. Yeah. Vauxhall Mocha E. So that sounds quite mm -hmm. specialist, right? So if you had a yeah. issue with that, um, you, you might have a warning light or something like that that comes up on, onto your dashboard. Um, mm -hmm. If you just search the internet, most answers that you're going to come across, if you didn't actually put the make and model uh, in, in that search, are going to be useless because it's not actually coming from a specialist in the, the, the Vauxhall uh, Mocha E. <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, you really want somebody that knows what they're talking about um, and, and not just people that are you know, commenting from their 1970s Ford Escort or something like that <laughs> and, and yeah. having a similar thing with the uh, with warning light. So, yeah, if you search for Vauxhall Market E and then, you know, the, the specific warning light, uh, then you'll probably find that one of the results comes from a discussion forum from somebody else that's experienced that same issue. And then you're going to exactly. have somebody exactly that specializes that. in that that answers the, those questions. Yeah, yeah so, that, so, and that's exactly what happened for me. So. And that's great. And so you can replicate that within your business with some, something like Social Squared. So yeah, in this community of practice, let's say, if I've got a question about Viva, um, notice how we've got a discussion board for Viva. Uh, so I could go into there and I can see that there's been some questions in the past. This one here I've not read before. Um, there's a couple that I have read. Um, so what I could do is uh, is actually go through and create my own question. So if I hit the add new topic in here, we can go through and post it. Now, quite often, it, this gets a little bit annoying for moderators in forums. If you ask a question and you've not really done your research first <laughs> to, to actually see if anybody else has asked that same question. Um, so you could ask that, you know, what is this issue on the warning light? And somebody would just say, well, yes, yeah, somebody just asked that question as well about a month ago and there's a whole thread about it and they got to the answer and, and, and so on. Um, so what we have inside of Social Squared is the ability for it to automatically pick up um, some of those questions. If I went in here and put in what is Microsoft Viva, uh, I, I don't have to actually put in exactly the subject. If I just put in Viva, in fact, you'll see that what is Microsoft Viva has actually popped up as one of the suggestions. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, so I can click onto that and uh, and actually see that somebody's asked that question and there's answers as to what it is with a link to find out more. Um, so I can think, oh yeah, that actually really benefited me. Uh, so I'm going to vote that up or I'm going to like it and uh, and give some feedback and and so on. And that's of course going to help other people as well that uh, that come across that that same thread. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if it's uh, if I couldn't find that 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 question, what I could do is maybe put what is Microsoft Viva mm -hmm. engage, and uh, this is maybe a different question. Um, let's put a, a question in here.
Oh, I see some some tags have automatically popped up there, Brett. What what do they do? Absolutely fantastic. So um, this really helps other people find the content or, or the question. So um, these we can actually create our own tag as well by uh, by just coming in here. Um, so notice that Viva Engage is actually one that's been suggested based on the content that I wrote. So I could reuse oh. that, and that that really helps you yeah, keep it um, consistent. Um, we could also maybe tag Microsoft Viva as well. Um, but something I don't see in there that's also not inside the uh, the, the copy that I wrote is Yammer. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop that one in there. So just to show you that we can actually come up with any uh, tags that we want. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, I can describe this. Even if the Yammer doesn't appear in the body or in the subject, it will still show up inside the search results. And then we can also use the tag cloud as well uh, in order to be able to find this post. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we can go through and add that. And uh, of course, we could go through and uh, reply to it as well. But you don't have to know the structure of the forum groups and the forums. That certainly helps. So you can navigate to the relevant place. Like if you just actually went to a Voxel forum, let's say, um, you know, you might actually uh, go past the Voxel Corsa and the Voxel Astra straight to the Voxel Mocha and see all sorts of forums in there. There may be bodywork forums, there could be mechanical forums, there could be interior forums yeah. and, and so on. Uh, so you could go in there and ask your question in the relevant place if you were going to post a new question. Um, so that's exactly the idea here. So that when you're in a forum, you're seeing you know, the, uh, the related content and you're not scrolling through all that noise like you suggested you do when you're inside of Teams and, uh, and, and Viva Engage yeah. and, and so on as well. So, uh, so that's how we can put a topic together. Um, I could just simply come in and, and search it. So if we uh, type in Viva Engage, um, yeah, we can see this, what is Microsoft Viva Engage? That's one we just created, mm -hmm. uh, but we can also just see, yeah, yeah, what is Microsoft Viva and, uh, and so on and so forth. And if I change that to Yammer, Notice how we're also returning that what is Microsoft Viva Engage because it was tagged oh, with the word. It was because of the tags. That's excellent. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, you can find that content really, really uh, easily uh, using that. So, of course, when we get an answer, um, let's just uh, jump back into that one. So under under Viva, let's go in and um, we could reply. So Viva Engage has replaced Yammer. That offers a discussion. Oops, capability, and of course mm -hmm. we could expand on on that. And um, just to point out that we could also hashtag in here as well, so I can add any tags on the fly. Uh, we can also at mention people. Um, so if I wanted to, if I at mention new car, I think oh, oh yeah, maybe help the <laughs> user in there. Uh, we'll, we'll choose somebody else. Sorry. <laughs> so, oh, I see. <laughs> I'll mention uh, demo user one. There we go. So they will get notified as well. And um, one of the other benefits of this is you can also go through and uh, do things like mark as answer. So you can do that if you're the topic creator or if you're a moderator as well. And that really helps other people benefit from uh, knowing that this is considered to be the right answer uh, with inside that thread. That's Andy. Sometimes you get quite a lot of answers to some of these threads and being able to mark that gets you straight to the point. People start guessing, don't they? They want to be heard. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Well, so yeah, they're just putting in their, their two pennies worth, but it's it's not always the uh, the, the appropriate answer. So um, yeah, um, anybody that thinks, yeah, this is uh, absolutely the right answer, they, they can mark it as such. And, you know, we're not going to dive into too many of the features. We'll do that in some separate videos, but just to call out some of the things that you've got, um, this is one of my favorites, uh, actually some integration with AI. Um, so you could do that with like a, a private open AI um, uh, engine if you wanted to, where uh, you could summarize this thread. Um, so if there is hundreds of answers and, and so on, uh, maybe some actions in there and whatever, right. you don't have to read through the whole lot. Um, effectively, ChatGPT will, uh, will summarize that for you. Uh, and you can also lock it as well to stop people from commenting even further if it's already mm -hmm. answered and, and that sort of thing. So some some really great features uh, in there. There's but, a lot to dive into in further videos. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I, I think it's worth calling out. Um, Carl, anything at the top of your mind in the latest release that we're going to be pushing out this month? Uh, it's the uh, ability to transcribe, I believe, um, 
uh, is it is it coming soon? It's the way you can you can speak into uh, one of the AI and it will automatically generate that for you. Really lo really just, looking forward to that feature. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if I was creating a new topic, um, notice that we do get the voice in, uh, message input now. So yeah, I did we... I did see that. Yeah, I'm looking forward <laughs> to when that comes out. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And actually, right, parked right next to that one is uh, is another new feature. Uh, oh yeah, and that launching. one. That the create poll, so we can actually gather some uh, some feedback specifically, and then um, yeah, create uh, charts on that that uh, feedback as well, which would be really really powerful. So yeah, great. Well, Carl, Good thank stuff. you very much for for joining our chat here today. Uh, really Thanks appreciate it. <laughs> All right, no no problem. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll be pushing this out on YouTube, but uh, we also have a webinar this month as well on Social Square to so make sure you you, uh, you register for that if you're interested in learning more. Uh, you'll be able to find that on lightningtools.com and then clicking onto webinars. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.